hello everyone welcome welcome back to my channel i am feeling myself right now with this lipstick on i will look the same in my makeup collection video um i have time on my hands right now so of course i'm going to take advantage of that i just threw you know jacket on so it was a little bit of a difference and i changed my lipstick this is the Too faced cinnamon bear and no red has ever looked good on me but you guys and it makes my teeth look whiter like not white white but way whiter than normal <laughs> um so i'm definitely gonna be repurchasing this and i'm gonna find a way <laughs> to repurchase this as well because this lipstick right here from the makeup collection video that i wore the Too Faced Sugar Cookie also does the same thing. So these two lipsticks are going to be my like go-to for the fall and the winter season. So I'm definitely going to need backups <laughs> of those. We are going to do a makeup palette collection today. And for this palette, I need to take a little um, mirror like thing off real quick. If I can ever get underneath of it there we go all right so yeah we're just gonna do a palette collection so we're gonna do the palettes that i keep on top of my desk first we're gonna start with um yeah <laughs> the Too faced cinnamon bear which is oh now they don't look yellow i mean white I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, that's besides the point right now. This is the Too Faced Cinnamon Bear Palette. This is out for the holiday season. Obviously, they already released it. And obviously, I already did a video on it, which is why I'm so, like, you know, open sharing it. Oh. My son's trying to wake up. But, anyways, this is what it looks like. I love it obviously you know I'm reds and purples are my thing um, and I just kind of wanted a holiday limited edition palette <laughs> um, then I have the Colourpop Candy Castle this um, is not a limited edition um, this is what it looks like it's pastel and neutral and I love it excuse me then this is obviously another limited edition release but it's for the fall season two based pumpkin spice palette looks like that again purples oranges browns you know like that's my jam so here's a better look and i believe i did a look on this i don't remember if i did a whole video or if it was just in a vlog but I know I did something with it. <laughs> um, then I have my Morphe and Maddie Stigler collab palette. I love this palette. I've only used it once though. So I'm going to have to, you know, dip into it more. It's definitely on the more colorful side. Like these are colors that you wouldn't normally see in a regular palette. So I had to grab it obviously. Not recently. It was over the summer. Um, so... There's the palettes that I keep in my little clear um, container on my desk. And then I have four other palettes on top, but they're beside it. They're beside the little clear container. You would have seen that if you watched the regular makeup collection. And first, I'll just do this one. This is my Page Cosmetics Weekend Festival Palette. As you can tell, I have quite a few palettes now that are colorful. And as you can tell, the shade Spirit, I really, really like in here. Um, I usually use that like as an inner corner and sometimes on the lid and stuff. So yeah, that's my go-to inner corner shade. Um, then I have 
three profusion palettes the first one is the neon palette obviously fun colors neon all that and they look like that i have not used this yet because i don't know what i'd use it for especially now that i'm a mom do i really want to be seen with like bright yellow eyeshadow with like blue you know whatever <laughs> on a day-to-day -day basis no it would be like a special occasion or like some Halloween makeup obviously it's spooky season today's October 1st that I'm filming this so you guys will be seeing a lot of makeup like fun makeup looks in the vlogs so keep up with those but then I have the Profusion Pro Pigment Palette this is mostly neutrals and then obviously there's those little bit of purple and berry colors in there. So it's like a pinky neutral palette, I guess. You could say. Then I have the Profusion Festival palette. So you could say that like I'm pretty well stocked on colorful palettes. I love that they added neutrals in here as well not like just like boom in your face because this is a lot of colors and i already have a palette like that um well this was the palette that i had like that before i got the Maddie zipper one but they're different shades and stuff obviously so that's all the palettes that i kept on my desk now it's time to dig into the smaller ones So let me just put them all out. And I'm just doing like the eye palettes, obviously, because I only have one palette that's not. I guess I'll show it anyway. This is the um, Hard Candy, uh, what is it, highlighter palette. I had the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but that one was, I had it since my junior year, I believe. So. It was definitely time to get rid of it, but that's what that looks like. Um, it's called the Just Glow Highlighting Palette from Hard Candy. And I think it's almost time to throw this one away too. Almost, not quite. So I need to start using that more. But let's get into these palettes. So first, this little tiny one, I have not used it yet. I wanted the whole collection, but obviously when I learned about it, it was just like, this was all that I found at Walmart. So, it's the Jade palette from their um, crystal collection, I'm guessing. Um, it was a limited edition, obviously. I probably would have been able to get the whole collection. It's just some greens. Like, this is like a green tinted cream. And then, obviously, there's two darker greens at the bottom. So, there's that from White and Wild if I didn't say it. Then I have the Ulta Beauty Babes Who Brunch palette. It's just like a tiny little pinky neutral palette. I got it in a set. If you've seen that haul, you would know. Um, it was my latest Ulta haul. Okay, come on. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit more comfortable, but that's ugly. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna deal. So then I have two other ColourPop palettes, and what the heck? I thought I felt something. Maybe I spit. I don't know. I thought I felt something droop on my leg. But this is the Uh Huh Honey palette from ColourPop. It's a nine pan eyeshadow. The one in the exact like middle is a pressed glitter um yeah these are pressed powders but that one's obviously a pressed glitter and then this one is the color pop lilac you a lot that's the packaging i love the packaging of these and again same thing the one in the direct middle is a pressed glitter so there is that. Boom. 
so kind of funny that I I noticed this before but I re-noticed it so I have two Colourpop palettes that are you know small one purple one yellow and then same with Maybelline I don't know how that happened or why but I have the Maybelline Lemonade Craze and Soda Pop palettes I love this one and it smells it doesn't smell like lemonade it's you know it's an artificial lemony smell and then this one kind of smells like cherry like artificial dialed down like really dialed down but that's that one and then I have two more palettes so this is also my most recent Ulta haul, you will see if you watched it. This is the Ulta Beauty and Harry Potter collab Ravenclaw palette. And I haven't used it yet, but look how beautiful, um, I don't know, I'm saving it, like I want to use it, but then again I want to keep it all beautiful and I want to display it. I haven't decided. Last. But not least, I have the Pure Cosmetics Festival 2.0. That's the packaging. I absolutely love the packaging. And again, some more colors. Dude, it's okay. Mommy's right here. Um, looks like that. Again, I only use where I only used those two shades right there so far. I haven't even swatched the other ones. Um, I'll get around to it. I just have like so many palettes and then, you know, I wasn't doing my makeup for a while and then, you know, I had a baby. So I wasn't doing my makeup for like a week and then I finally got back into it once he started sleeping better. But that is all of my makeup and mostly eyeshadow palettes. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Maybe I'll be getting a little more video tonight. We'll have to see. But I'm in love with this lipstick, you guys. So, that's all I have for you today. I think I already said that. But, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.